As educators, we know the importance of articulating and pronouncing our sounds clearly and accurately. When asking students to isolate phonemes and words, this can be a challenging task. When we hear a language, all of our sounds are co-articulated. Oftentimes, when isolating sounds, such as stop sounds, we hear students add an extra sound or a schwa onto the end. For example, the sound of B, B, is often pronounced by students B, adding that schwa onto the end. We want to make sure that we are modeling the sound clearly and accurately for students and providing error correction if we hear students adding that schwa on. Many educators are aware of keeping our sounds nice and clipped. However, there are four sounds that are a little bit trickier and not often recognized as adding a, that schwa. When we look at the sound of Q, we often teach it as qua. But listen to this word, queen. Qu is the sound we hear in queen, not quain. This can be a trickier sound. To help yourself pronounce this accurately, think of a word that begins with that sound and isolate just the first sound. Queen, quick, quiz. Q says qu. Another tricky sound, why. Oftentimes we teach why as ya, but listen to that, ya adds the schwa. When I say yellow, I do not hear a uh after yellow. Y says ye in yellow or yo-yo or yesterday. Y says ye. We often hear the sound W pronounced wa. But what do we hear at the end? Another schwa. Listen to this word, watermelon. We do not say wa watermelon. We say watermelon. W says w, like in wish or Wednesday or went. W says w. And our final tricky sound is the sound of R. Oftentimes we hear this pronounced er. When we look at this red rectangle, we do not say er red or er rectangle. The sound of R is r, red, rest, read. We realize some of these sounds may be new to you and you can practice pronouncing those sounds before you get in front of students to help them articulate these sounds clearly. Think of a word that begins with that sound, isolate that sound, and you will be able to hear that sound clearly.